Today in our On the High Seas series, I take you back to the deck of the Harry S. Truman aircraft carrier to introduce you to an Arizona sailor who joined the Navy to serve his country and to become a better person. Every time an F-18 lands on board the Harry S. Truman aircraft carrier, there's an enormous amount of impact on the Hornet's three tires. They are inspected daily. Tire maintenance, very important and very expensive at thousands of dollars a piece. So the aircraft tire and wheel shop operates 24-7. That's a big, thick tire. I mean, it's a it thick is. tire. It's it is a very you can tell thick it's sturdy. Tire. Yeah. Can't, can't yeah. bend them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where I met 24-year-old Arizona sailor Anthony Nomikos from Surprise, where he went to Valley Vista High School. He works in the tire shop, but also works on hydraulic systems and says the Navy was the right move for him. I like it. I'm glad I did it. Um, it's definitely put me in the right direction. I definitely recommend anybody who wants to be put in the right direction, kind of get a head start in life to definitely do it. Um, but I've, I've loved every second I've, I've done this. You got a lot of responsibility we for do. a young man. We do. You do. We do, and uh, recently they made me supervisor of the tire wheel shop, so I've been here for the past four months trying to take over. I'm still learning a lot being here, but it's been a it's been a long time coming. So good for you. Well, everybody's proud of you, uh, especially Arizona. What where do you want to go with the the military? And well, unfortunately, as of right now, I'm just planning on doing the four years going out. Um, I plan to go to school over at UTI in Avondale. Um, my grandparents have just given me their 1941 car, so I'm hoping to get home and fix it up and just live the life I've been wanting to live in Arizona, so. Good for you. These sales are great ambassadors to this, this great country, and they're doing wonderful things each and every day. One, they're representing themselves, not just themselves, they're representing their families as they come out here young, eager to learn and eager to win. So they're hardworking, they're dedicated, and they're true professionals. I think uh, if we could bring uh, everyone in America on board for a day, uh, they would be completely bowled over uh, with the selflessness, the sacrifice, and the work ethic of these uh, young men and women. Um, you know, ultimately, I think that uh, human performance uh, is, uh, is increased when there's value and purpose to what you do. And I think there's no greater value uh, and purpose than uh, volunteering uh, to serve your country and dedicating yourself to others. And Anthony knows his family and friends are proud. I'm more proud. That's all I got to say. I'm, I'm absolutely proud of what I've done, what I've accomplished. And I've come so far and honestly, I'm, I, I couldn't be any happier. Cannot be any happier with where I'm at. How good does it make you feel to know that people are so proud of what you're doing? It makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel like I've done something, I've changed, I've done it, I made a change, and I feel like I'm helping a lot. Anthony's plan is to serve four years and then come back home and go back to school. And he knows he'll be coming home a better person. Honestly, I, I miss everybody. I thank everybody for the support. Um, this has been a really, really long, hard journey. And honestly, I couldn't do it without him. Uh, Arizona will just continue to stay hot, stay hydrated, as always, um, and just live life to the fullest. If you see an opportunity, take it. And that's what I did with this. We are trying to, Anthony. Thank you. Each day this week, we've hosted the parents of these amazing sailors live in studio with us. Anthony's mom could not be with us this morning, but we did catch up with her at her home in Surprise. And it was no surprise just how proud she is and how much she misses him. He really is growing up. He went in at 22. He's now 24. And matter of fact, just the other day I talked to him and his voice has changed and it's gotten deeper. And I could just, I could hear it that he's growing up. I miss not talking to him. I miss his voice. I miss his sense of humor. Just really miss seeing his smile. So once again, Anthony attended Valley Vista High School. Uh, he was into snowboarding, BMX biking as a kid, and look at him now. Oh. Boy, he's growing up and making a difference on board the Harry S. Truman, so really proud. And still caring about the folks at home. They all Keep do. They, they all are so into families. <laughs> yeah, their families so back great. home. Yeah. So thank you so much, and to his mom as well. Yeah.